Hello, hello, hello. Hello, my friends, family on Facebook. Hello, what my wellness warriors. Here's Kaujio for our Tennis Tuesday Live. Uh, give me a thumbs up, a heart, a like, or a something that will allow me to know that you are on. I'm checking the sound, so please say hello. Type something there for us. How are we feeling today? Are we ready for a little mini workout uh, that is specific? Well, we know Pilates is for everyone. Young and adult and elderly, Pilates is for everyone. So, but this one is dedicated to tennis players, to people that enjoy tennis, either if it is at the professional level or hey, Porsche, hey, it's my Porsche, Porsche, hey, say hello, hello, sorry. Uh, stretching, yes, good job. <laughs> Downward facing, no, she's good training, yes. Well trained, baby, here we go. I know, yes, stretching. So, as I was saying, um, Pilates is very good for tennis uh, uh, players. Even if you start, just start playing tennis, if you're a professional, if you are a person that enjoys tennis, uh, you know, as a, as a hobby, uh, just for everyone. So in tennis, we work a lot with mobility, right? Mobility, strength, and um, a lot of core. Core work uh, is your, full, your whole entire body has to move fast with balance, with the strength. So how we accomplish that in a safe manner is what we do off the court. Not just working on your tennis technique, not just working on your serve or in your, uh, in everything that you have to do as a, as a, in the technique on tennis. What you do before and after out of the court is also very important to keep you safe, to keep you away from injuries and to keep you stronger, to keep you more flexible uh, with your, you know, Pilates helps you for your conditioning, for your flexibility, for your strength. Uh, so we're gonna work in all those areas uh, on our Tennis Tuesdays. So we're gonna, that is my goal, is to help everyone that is enjoying tennis, no matter if it's at a professional level, or it is just uh, occasionally, or even the one that people that they never thought about trying tennis before. If you're thinking about, uh, starting classes, lessons, or start playing tennis as a hobby, well, it will be awesome if you start training off the court for it, all right? Uh, let's see, um, I don't have anyone yet on it, I believe, uh, in a few minutes I will start, uh, but as, as I am talking the benefits of Pilates when you are a tennis player, in particular, it goes from toes all the way up the crown of the head, literally. We work with your feet, which is very important. Don't get me started there, because it is essential for everyone, everyone, to focus first, not just on the core strength, but your feet. Your feet take a lot of pressure, a lot of weight, and we neglect it very, very much. Uh, so that is every single movement that we do in Pilates, we focus in the full body. We, is that mind and body connection that we call it. So through the breathing, we are gonna connect with our body. And every single movement that we accomplish is gonna be mindful, it's gonna be a conscious movement, right? In the way that we move from toes up to the crown of the head, all of it. Here we go. So uh, we're gonna start by, let me adjust the mat here a little bit. First and foremost, even if you are on the court, if you're on uh, outside or wherever you may be, highly recommended, I might say, is a must, take two shoes off. No shoes. When we're practicing yoga, we're practicing Pilates, no shoes at all. Why? It's because what I was saying a second ago about taking care of your feet. So we're going to make sure that your feet are nice and free. I love uh, toe socks. I don't have them on today. Uh, I have plenty of them, but I chose not to use them today so you can actually see my feet a little bit better and how I move it. You will always see me wiggle, wiggling my toes. Uh, that is something that it's just, let's call it a habit. It's a good, it's a good habit to have. Uh, we have to, when we move our toes, we exercise our feet, we are 
bringing you know circulation to the body and we they, it really really helps to keep that area um, well maintained let's say uh, so shoes off socks off as well unless you are using toe socks those the ones that you put each little toe individually and then like it fits like a glove that's okay has some grip is at the bottom that's perfect but for today I decided to go just barefoot and uh, to show you how important it is the placement on your feet in every movement that we are going to execute tonight all right so we're ready to start bring the shoulders back there you go take a big deep breath inhale and exhale good job here we go we're going to start with our pilates stand heels together toes apart spread the toes to the side nice wiggle them right there heels down pressing down towards the mat you're gonna pretend you have a zipper between your legs so zip it up right here nice stack your hips in line shoulders back and down bringing that navel to the spine arms up inhale exhale down to the sides here we go inhale up exhale down two more inhale through the knees exhale to the sides inhale through the nose exhale through the mouth slowly here we go articulating the feet looking at our balance we're gonna go up and on tippy toes and down here we go inhale up and down good job inhale up and down one more inhale up and down beautiful right there arms up heels apart perfect always stretching the toes open the bottom of the feet stretch them good job arms up shoulders down so we keep that connection navel to the spine inhale exhale twist to the side inhale center exhale twist to the side inhale center and twist to the side inhale center exhale twist and up inhale exhale breathe in and out mobility is very important inhale up exhale bend your knees and swing those arms back nice and easy no putting tension in the body we're releasing that tension here we go inhale exhale breathe inhale right there exhale reach back hold it one more and then we hop it and up inhale exhale down good job let's open our legs as wide as we can but comfortably in the way that our hips are gonna be exercising by not putting tension on them okay we're just in the warm-up right here toes are gonna be pointing the corners of the mat bring the shoulders back and down that connection navel to the spine bring your arms up inhale exhale plie those knees are going to be pointing towards those toes right there make sure do not the knees should never pass your toes right if that is happening means that you are able to go a little bit wider on your stance right and then perfect knees are down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down beautiful up in here very good this move for those hip flexors nice mobility helps me to connect with that core as well do not tend to bring your back forward or your upper body forward keep that spine in alignment good job one more here we go inhale and exhale and this is the kind of workout that you can use it also stay in the plie um, that you can use also either as a warm-up or at the end as a stretch all right it's active stretching so you can use it either either or and before your tennis practice or your tennis match and after as well here we go we're gonna go for four three two and one inhale exhale up reach high rather right inhale exhale deep here right there very nice and up oh you start feeling it right and also you see how i'm moving with my breathing right i'm going to the rhythm of my breath no rush no tension here we go inhale exhale 
One more. Breathe in. Stretch it and out. Good job. Keep it right here. Arms to the sides. Inhale. Yes, Portia. Exhale. Look at her. <laughs> Hold it. Oh, oops. <laughs> My balance right there. Good job, baby. Inhale. Exhale. I know. Yes. And here we go. Press one. And two. And three. And four. And five. And six. And seven. And eight. I know. And up. Inhale. She gets so excited to see me exercising. Exhale. And up. Here we go. Open a little bit more right there. We're going to go side by side now. Here we go. To the right. And we left. The same principle. Keep your spine in a good alignment. Exhale. One. And two. And three. And four. Very nice. Here we go. Four. And three. And two. And one. Inhale. Exhale. Deep plier right there. Very nice. Bring the arms up. Inhale. Exhale. Go forward towards the mat. In and out. Extend your legs. Bring toes in. Heels out. Feel the stretch in your inner thighs right there. Inhale. And exhale. Go a little bit lower. As low as your body allows you to do so. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. And out. Inhale. Exhale, flat back right there. Remember, in this position, toes in, heels out. Helps you to activate those inner thighs. Inhale. Exhale, lengthening that spine. Breathe in. And out. One more time. Inhale. Exhale down all the way. Take a deep breath right here. Let it go in the tension of the lower spine. By lifting that navel, back, back, back to the spine very nice and up inhale exhale bringing that left hand on your on top of your right foot or behind it as your flexibility takes you and reach up lengthening reaching energy through those fingers inhale exhale center breathe in and out to the center again release tension so you can Go into your stretch a little bit deeper. Right hand now on top of your left foot or behind it as your flexibility allows you. Reaching the left arm up all the way towards the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale. Remember, the deeper you connect with that core, the better for your stretch. Very nice. Exhale. Come into center. Breathe in and out. Hands holding your ankles right there. And two. And three and four. Inhale, coming up slowly, always with that, keeping that connection, navel to the spine. Exhale, toes out again to the corners of the mat. Fingertips pressing down. So I'm lifting my upper body a little bit more from the mat and now side by side. Keeping that spine in a good alignment, alignment and extending that spine, right? Keeping the flat back, as I call it. Here we go. Four. Three, two, and one. If we have flexibility to what my body allows to, to do, we're going to go deeper into that stretch. Deep in that stretch. You see my foot right here on the right side? It's nice and long. Deep stretch, deep stretch. I know this is not that easy for many, but this is the goal. So I'm going to show you what is the goal. If you can just get here, that's perfectly okay. If you are here, lengthening that spine, those hips back, that long leg up there, stretch. Now you are flexible, we'll use it. And go a little bit lower. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, coming back. Exhale to the other side, lengthening that spine, lifting that chest, open your right leg, shoulders back and down, and flex that foot. So you feel the stretch in the back of the leg. Very nice. Two, and three. And four. Perfect. Inhale, exhale, switch. Bring those toes up to the sky. Stretch one and two and three and four. Excellent. Here we go. Bring your fingertips up and all what I'm doing is from that core, navel to the spine. Here we go. Four and three and two and one. Mobility, strength, flexibility. One and two and three. And four. Inhale, exhale, center. 
coming up one vertebra at a time, one, soften the knees, two, and three, and four. Inhale, exhale. We're gonna go to the right side, bringing, pivoting your feet to the right side. Good job, lengthening, hips back, crown of the head towards the front of, uh, of the mat where I'm looking at it. Inhale, exhale. You see the, my foot in the back? Go back and always exercise in the toes. Here we go. I know it's not easy for many to do uh, these movements, but I, in my private sessions, I teach you how. If you have any question, just don't hesitate to reach out to me and I give you the variation of the movements, right? Inhale, exhale. Here we go. Breathe. Palms down. Exhale. Bring the leg back. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog, one of my favorites. Portia, where are you? Inhale, exhale. She wanted to do the downward facing dog with me earlier. <laughs> Extend, here we go. Now the opposite leg goes to the front. And bring it up, one. And two, very nice. You see my spine right there? I'm trying to lengthen it. The more I'm lengthening my spine, bringing my hips back, the more I feel it into the stretch, right? And two, and three. Mobilizing those toes, yes, four and five. Good job. Inhale, right there. Exhale, bring the leg back, downward facing dog. Strong hands, right there, pressing down the mat, bringing those hips up and back. Heels down. Inhale, exhale. Now, here we go. Keeping those hips up and back, we're gonna lift on tippy toes and down. Lift and down. Here we go. Exhale, ready and out. Lifting that navel to spine, belly bottom to the back. Yes, heels high and down. Hold it right there. I'm gonna adjust a little bit, coming closer. I tend to go quite far because of my flexibility. Inhale, exhale, here we go. Bring the knee in and out. Keeping those hips steady, hips steady. We're not going to do this, right? We're not moving hips back and forth. Keep those, keep those hips steady and knee in and out. When working here, it's our full body stretch right here from head to toe. I'm stretching my whole entire body with intention and I'm practicing my breathing. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale, I open the chest. Release tension from shoulders and neck and exhale, navel to the spine, bringing those rib cage back into center. One more, inhale and exhale, very nice. Let's parallel, stretch downward facing dog again, nice and easy. Inhale and exhale to the high push up, breathing. And out. Remember, push ups, planks, very good, a full body movement. Hold it right there. Make sure that you are not sinking in between the shoulders or you are rounding the shoulder blades too much. Right there, find your center. Just when you start shaking, there is your neutral spine. Navel up. Glutes are strong. Nice long legs. Inhale and exhale. Breathe in and two. Inhale, exhale. Let's go to the cobra. Upward facing dog. Going down, not quite touching the mat. And up. Exhale, lengthening. So we're using Pilates, we're using yoga to condition our body, to make it stronger, to have more flexibility. Inhale, exhale. Good job, open the shoulders, shoulders back. Bring the shoulders back, open the chest, navel to the spine, glutes are engaged, you're golden. Inhale, exhale, one more deep breath right here. And out, toes under, with the strength of the core, bring it up, two, and three, and four. Inhale, exhale, right leg is up. Let's fit nice and long. Keeps up parallel with each other. If I'm stronger, my body allows it, I'm gonna turn those hips high. Open those hips a little bit more and reach higher. Inhale, exhale, bring the knee forward. Two, and three, and four. Just a little bit more there until you get to the right position in which you feel comfortable, but at the same time, you are taking it to the next level of the stretch. Remember that knee in line with that ankle. Inhale, and exhale. Hold it right there. Out, you feel those hip flexors as well. Bring that left knee down, extend. Inhale, exhale, reach. Breathe in and out. Perfect. 
bring, curl the toes under, and up, inhale, exhale, palms are down, bring the leg back, inhale, and exhale, reaching high, and lower down, inhale, and exhale, left leg is up, those hips parallel to each other, lengthening the leg and the feet, nice and long, opening those hips a little bit more, if your body allows you to do it, and in. Remember, key point, keeping that navel to the spine, extending the leg in the back, inhale, and exhale. Feel the stretch, feel the stretch, the strength, your legs. You're curling your toes back there, right? So you're stretching your feet at the same time, inhale. Exhale, lower the knee down, lengthening the foot, inhale. Remember, in line that knee with that ankle, bring your arms up, breathe in. I'm out. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in and down. Beautiful work. Bring your hands down. Toes under. Inhale. Exhale. Bring the leg back. Stretch. Strengthen right there. Inhale. And out. Breathe in and down. Beautiful work right there. Inhale and exhale. High push up again. Check our posture. Shoulders back. Good body alignment. Bring the hips under. Glutes are engaged, navel to the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. And out. Downward facing dog again. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to jump towards your hands. Two, three, four. And we work here. Sit back. Whew, that's awesome. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale. We're going to go to the bridge. Here we go. Arms in front of you. Shoulders back and down. Legs parallel, hip width apart. Feet are nice, grounded. Toes to the mat. Inhale. Exhale, we're going back, we'll uncurl through the spine, through the spine, through the spine, one, and two, and three, and four, beautiful, inhale, exhale, bring the knees to the chest, inhale, circle your ankles, wiggle the toes, lengthen in that neck, exhale, beautiful, find your neutral spine, by not arching your back here, bringing it down, inhale, open, that rib cage right there as you inhale. Exhale, bring the rib cage to center, navel down to the spine, flat tummy, like I have 100 pound weight on top of my belly right there. Bringing those heels closer, as close as I can. If I can touch them with the tip of the fingers, even better. If not, don't worry, you will get there. Inhale, exhale, navel to the spine, pressing those arms down as I'm still exhaling, I'm gonna bring those hips high, two, and three, and four. This is an awesome exercise to tone, to articulate, to strengthen the lower back, glutes, uh, your hip flexors are working. It's unbelievable work right here if you do it correctly. Now, don't go all the way too much that you're putting too much tension on your neck. Watch your neck and shoulders. They should be relaxed. It should be a stretch for them as well. Hands are down, pressing those arms down, not just the hands, arms down, inhale. Exhale, bring those hips high, glutes are strong, navel to the spine, very nice, inhale. Exhale, knees are in line with ankles, right, inhale. Exhale, bring a little bit higher if you can. Every single time that you exhale, you have the chance to bring those hips a little bit higher, inhale. Exhale, breathe in and out. Inhale, exhale, reach high, 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 tight the glutes and bring yourself down one vertebra at a time, two and three and four. Inhale, exhale, bring knees to the chest, chin to the chest. Inhale, we're going to give that back a little massage. Exhale, bring your hands in the back of the legs, shoulders back and down, chin to the chest. Inhale, bring the knees towards your nose. Exhale, coming up onto the boat. Right here, palms together. Inhale. Exhale, bring those hands around the feet. If this is too much, just keep your hands on the outside of your legs, shoulders back, down, elbows out, just hold it here. I'm gonna demonstrate like this and then I'm gonna do the, the modification right there soon after. Chin to the chest, roll back, inhale. Don't let the head touch the mat. Exhale, coming up and hold. This will be the Beginning of the boat position and rolling like a ball. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Now more advanced. Palms together. Palms between your uh, between your legs. Bring your, bring them around your feet. Inhale. Chin to the chest. Coming back. 
Don't let the head touch the mat because that will slow you down and that's no good going back and forth. Um, oh my goodness, hello, Olivia and Aiden. I love you guys. I miss you. <laughs> that's so sweet. Here we go, rolling like a ball. Inhale, exhale. Remember, don't bring that head down. Keep that chin to the chest. Here we go, one more time. Inhale. This is an awesome massage for the lower back. And at the same time, you're working your core muscles. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale around, extending those legs. I know this feels so good, right? If this is too much, don't worry. Just stay right here. Right here is good. Holding the hands, you know, behind your legs, shoulders back, navel to the spine. It's baby steps. Baby steps, you will get there. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. So you can hold it up here. If you're up here, I thank you for it too. Here we go. Flex the feet and hold it right there. Inhale. As this is so much fun. I have so much fun with the kids doing these movements because they, they might not have that core control yet, but they love it. And it's, it's a good way to bring them back into focus. Here we go. <laughs> Inhale. Going back. Exhale together and bring that into sitting position. Lengthening the legs right there. Nice long spine. Make sure when you're in this position, you bring your sit bones back. Don't rush it, okay? Make sure that you are relaxed enough. In many of my, if not say 99% of the clients that I see uh, through all my career, it no matter if they're athletes or, or they're people that are just starting exercising or they're very, you know, very fit. One of the main things that they struggle with, let's say those words, is the hamstrings, tight hamstrings. It's very, very typical. If you're a runner, if you're a tennis player, if you're a bailarina, you may be flexible, but still kind of like keeping that tightness back there. So be gentle with yourself. And always think when I'm stretching, I'm releasing the tension so I can be able to reach farther. I cannot put too much tension on that area and expect to reach my full potential, all right? Here we go, arms in front of you, shoulders back and down. Inhale, feet are in flex. Exhale, go forward the feet. Now, I'm not just going for, towards the legs. I'm always thinking, I have an imaginary ball here. I'm gonna go over and reach in four, two, and three, and four. Inhale, exhale, coming up, one, two, and three, and four. Open the arms, reaching high, Inhale, exhale, reach forward again. Two and three and four. Coming up. Now, I guarantee you, you do this four times, and by the fourth time or so, you can reach higher. You can touch your toes. I have worked with many of my clients that they don't have, they have not worked with their flexibility because the flexibility is there. We just have to give it a hand. So I guarantee you, the more you do it in this manner, so when you're stretching forward, you are not just doing this. You see my spine? No, you're going forward. So I'm working from my core. Inhale, exhale, lifting up the lower abdominals, up, 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 and exhale, forward. That's how we stretch, from our core, with the breathing, nice and low. So when up here, or down here, I bring my sit bones back, and I feel the stretch a little bit deeper in the hamstrings. Inhale, and exhale. Breathe in, and up, coming up. And you might say, oh no, I cannot do that, I don't reach. Doesn't matter, even if you're just here, that's perfectly okay if you're doing it right, because eventually you will be here. And then you will continue moving forward into your stretch. So always, 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 always make sure you do not discourage yourself because you cannot get to the full uh, movement or the full potential. Your potential increases, improves. So if I'm right here, oh, I cannot go farther, you will. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Consistency is the key. Bringing yourself up. Inhale and exhale, arms in front of you. So here for tennis players, this moving is very, this movement is very important, important because when you, you have a lot of twisting and turning and very sudden movements that tennis players have to do due to the nature of their sport. So the body has to be prepared for it. So what we're doing here is just inhale, center. You see my feet in flex. Exhale, twist. Right there, inhale. Coming back to center. Exhale, 
twist. Inhale, center, and exhale, twist. That's awesome, that Olivia amazing work here. Thank you, sweetie pies. They're just such a committed kids. They love tennis, they play tennis with them as a family, which I love, and that is one thing that, one of the many things that I appreciate from tennis is the fact that it's, it's awesome because we can play it as a family, and it's such, a, such an awesome sport, indeed it is. Inhale and exhale, breathing and out, coming up. So you see that my rotation was not as, it can be very deep or it can just be a little bit. As long as my hips stay still, I'm not moving with my hips, no, 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 or my legs, my legs are always parallel with each other. It's that increasing that mobility, that range of motion with that core strength that help us um, to improve in this movement, right? Inhale, exhale, open your legs wider than the mat, as wide as you can. Now, don't go too wide that you curve your spine. If that this is happening, it's not good. So you wanna bring your legs together a little bit closer and lengthening that back, that is spine. So the most important right here is your spine. Open your legs as wide as you can, right? Without jeopardizing your spine stability, right there. Inhale, turn your legs out. Exhale, never rush the movement. Always be mindful of your the beginning of the movement. It's as important as the execution, right? If I focus on bringing my mind and my center, bring your legs out. You see my feet are in flex. I'm still stretching the back of the leg, right? Back is a straight, inhale, arms in front of you. Exhale, reach forward for one, and two, and three, and four. Bring it back one, and two, and three, and four. And I have my, here my Swiss ball. It's not really helping me much, but it looks so nice there. <laughs> here we go, arms reaching to the sides, shoulders back and down. My back, my spine is nice and straight. Arms in front, inhale. You see my feet? I'm not bringing them to the center. I'm always out, articulating the inner thighs as well. Exhale, reaching forward, one, and two, and three, and four. Inhale, exhale, breathe in, coming up, one, and two, and three, and four. Right here, we're gonna open the arms, inhale, twist, exhale, go for that baby toe, right there. Again, mobility, strength, stability, flexibility. Inhale, center, exhale, twist and reach. And I am showing you the full range of motion of the movement, right? Don't worry, if you can just get to this point and then you cannot go farther, that's perfectly okay. You will get farther, you will get into that deeper stretch. Don't worry, I'll guide you towards it. That is, the, that is my job, to help you to accomplish and to reach your goals. Inhale. Exhale, twist and reach. Breathing center, twist and reach. Inhale, center, one more set. Exhale, inhale, center, twist and reach. Inhale, and exhale, coming back to center. Arms in front of it, inhale, exhale, reach forward. No matter if you get here, that's perfectly okay. Reach a little bit forward down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale and exhale. Good job, breathe in and out. Very nice, coming back into neutral spine. Inhale, exhale, shake the legs. I'm sure they are quite, um, by now you feel them, right? Yeah, it's a good feeling though, it's a good feeling. We're gonna swing those legs around and we're gonna go into hands and knees right here. In this position, make sure that your knees are in line with your hip. And the front, open the shoulders, open the chest, the shoulders to the sides. Your wrist should be in line with your, um, uh, with your shoulder right there. So make sure you stay here, you stabilize your core, bringing that navel to the spine, so I'm not arching my back, I am not curving the spine either. And there we go, we're just right there. Navel to the spine. Feel that belly button drawing back, drawn back to that spine. Inhale, 
Exhale, breathe in and out. Just by holding it here in that deep breathing inhale. Exhale, lifting the navel to the spine. Put that corset around your trunk, around the midsection. Very nice. Inhale. And exhale. Very nice. Extending the left leg up. Now here, try not to open those hips. I'm trying to keep those hips level. That's part of the, um, the exercise, part of the, the control of the body right there. Extending the right arm ahead in front of you so opposite arm opposite leg right one and two and three and four inhale exhale down very nice inhale exhale we're gonna lift the right leg out left arm extended this is a good stabilization movement right we are it's like a planking but it's a little more assisted and then we're obviously doing with balance Hold it right there for two more deep breaths. Remember, hips parallel to each other. This leg up here doesn't need to be this high. If it's right there, it's perfectly okay. But make it nice and long. Lengthen in the body. That's what we do with Pilates as well. Inhale, exhale down. Good job. Breathe in and out. Now here we go again. Lift it. Inhale and exhale. Hold it right there. Or if we would like to play a little bit more with our legs, bring it up one and two and three, and four, four, five, and six, and seven, and eight, lifting, inhale, exhale down, bring it that leg down, here we go, exhale, opposite leg, opposite arm, we're gonna lift that leg, and now for one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, inhale, exhale down, Bring it down all the way, two, and three, and four. Inhale, exhale. I wonder we can do something. Hold on. Bring them on camera. Let me see. Can I add you to my life right here? That would be awesome if we can bring... Here we go. Let's see if we can do this. Perfect. I took a little bit of break there to adjust the camera. Here we go. We were over here. Very nice. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to crawl the toes under, bringing the legs back. Inhale into the planking. Exhale. Hold it. You see my feet right here? I'm always pressing my heels down. I'm stretching at all times. My hamstrings and calf muscles. You can move a little bit farther back into this position as well to really focus on your toes and your feet. Always pressing those heels back. You're going to be curling the toes a little bit more, lengthening, bringing the navel to the spine. Inhale, exhale, breathe in and out. Very nice. Inhale, exhale, bring the knees down. We're going to go to child pose. Now we have all your options for the child pose. It's either your legs are parallel with each other. For people that have knee problems or the hamstrings are too tight or hip flexors, it's too much to bring all those hip bones all the way down. So if that happens, make sure you put a pillow underneath so you get a little bit of support. Now, next variation would be toes together in the back, knees are to the sides, inhale right there, exhale, sit back. If this is still bothersome, make sure you put a pillow underneath or bring your hands in front Tilt a little bit forward so you, you get as close as you can towards your heels and then a stretch. Now in my case, I'm going to go all the way down. Inhale, bring it to a deeper stretch. Bring those knees all the way out. Exhale, here we go. Nice, long stretch. This is wonderful for your lower back, for your ab muscles, uh, for your neck and shoulders. If neck and shoulders are tight, we bring one hand on top of the other one and we rest the forehead on, on them and we rest right there. Inhale, exhale. 
If our hip flexors allow us, we will go deeper into that stretch by bringing those knees a little bit farther out. I see back to me, it feels very, very good. For many people, this is too much, but I'm just giving you the progression of the movement, uh, the stretch as well, so you can choose what suits you, all right? Inhale, exhale, stretch. Inhale, and exhale, very nice. Deep into the stretch, inhale, and exhale. Coming up again in force, inhale, and exhale. We're gonna go and extend in the back all the way. Inhale, and exhale. I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna finish it. I was going to finish all the way down to the mat, but I'm gonna finish it up here. Inhale and exhale. Bring your back all the way up onto the mat, or if you are on the tennis court or on the grass, wherever you may be. So always uh, you can stretch when you're sitting down, or when you're standing up, or when you're completely on the mat. Here we go. Inhale, coming up and exhale. Bring that leg in. Challenge your balance, right there. This is good for the kids to help them find their core muscles, to find their uh, focus, you know, on mind and body uh, alignment. Inhale and connection. Exhale. Left leg is up. Two and three and four. Remember to work with your breathing. Inhale through the nose. Exhale to the mouth. One more. Inhale. Exhale, as easy as this can look, it's not as easy when we're talking or where our mind is not in the movement, it's not that easy, it requires that intention, requires to have control of the body, right? Requires that breathing technique, exhale, it's not that easy, exhale. Especially when I'm thinking of bringing my spine in line, straight legs, shoulders back and down, inhale, exhale, breathe in, and down, beautiful. Now, extending, let me fix that mat right here that's a little bit twisted. Inhale right here, exhale, we're gonna go inhale, exhale back. Inhale, bring that knee in, exhale two. Inhale, exhale three. Breathe in, exhale four. We're gonna go for eight, in and five. Here we go, in and six, here we go, in and seven, and up, and eight. Hold the back there. I don't have too much room right here, but extending that leg in front of you. Because I have a deeper, a wider stance, go low. Now, that knee should not pass your toes. So always, if you need to wider your stance, do so. Keep it right there for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. Exhale, bring it to center. Shake it, shake it. Good job. Now let's go with the other leg. Inhale right here. Exhale back one. When I'm doing this, feeling the, the stretch right here in your hip flexors, the back of the leg because I'm pressing that, that heel down, right? Inhale up and two. Inhale up and three. Inhale up and four. In up and five. In up and six. Good job. Up and seven, up and eight, reach back, 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 really set your stance right there to the point that by now you're quite flexible, so you can go wider in your stance, right? Extend that leg in the back, make a deeper into your stretch, that knee should not pass your toes right here in the front, inhale, hold it, hold and bounce a little bit, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, and one, inhale, exhale, bring it in and down. Good job, shake it, shake it, shake it. Inhale, and exhale, here we go. Shake those legs, because I'm sure that feel quite a bit, you know, try to, if you're with shoes on, as soon as you get home, take your shoes off, circle your ankles, wiggle the feet, wiggle your toes, make them free, right? Inhale, and exhale. Here we go. You're gonna bring again to the Pilates stand. Inhale, going up. Interlace those fingertips right there. Exhale, reach up. Breathe in and out to the side. I have given you a taste tonight of some of the moves that we can practice as we as we are tennis players or 
just, uh, you know, as the professional. In the professional level, obviously, I will take it to the next level. Uh, but for now, this is something that we all can do, right? That we can um, start practicing before or after our tennis match or practice or just if we're doing it as a, as a hobby, that's perfectly okay. Uh, the moves that I have given you have different variations and modifications uh, depending on the level of fitness of the person, depending on the age, depending if they have any knee problems, hip problems, lower back problems, um, shoulder, neck, uh, you name it. You know, as an athlete or as a person that has been practicing certain sports um, regularly, uh, it creates an imbalance, creates, uh, creates imbalance in the body. So what my job, and I, I, I love it, that's my passion, is to help them to recover, strengthening, conditioning, to the point that they don't need to go to the chiropractor, to the point that, you know, that's my goal. And, and with the help of the client, uh, the student, uh, we accomplish that. And now if you're not you that everything is okay, everything goes perfect, then I'm gonna help you to improve your technique, to improve your, um, your, your game, let's say, in all the ways, because uh, my approach to fitness is not just uh, from the outside right now. It's not just how many calories you burn or how many, you know, how strenuous is the work. I approach it with yoga, I approach it with Pilates, I approach it with many uh, disciplines to help you overall in your wellness. It's not just your fitness in the physicality of what that involves as well as spiritual, mentally, you know, we work with all those elements as well. That's what uh, my passion, my love, my mission it is, is to help young and younger <laughs> to, uh, to accomplish their goals, to, to reach their goals. And I hope you enjoyed this live, um, simple, easy breezy. If you have any comments uh, in regards of any particular movement, exercise that we, we did it tonight. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Rejuvenate. I'm Coach Gio. I love you all. Thank you for watching. Um, thank you so much, Olivia and Aiden. You guys are awesome. Continue practicing. Uh, I'm so grateful to everyone that has reached out to us uh, for our wedding, and I cannot ask for more. You guys are amazing. All the love and blessings to you guys. And uh, yes, we will continue with Tennis Tuesday. <laughs> so uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, Wednesday Wellness. What about that? So tomorrow is Wednesday, Wednesday Wellness or Wellness Wednesday. Well, either way, um, we're going to be working. Maybe I'll do a core exercise. That would be awesome. Hey, Ariana, how are you, baby? Oh, there's my lovely friend. I miss you. Um, so we will be working on mat work uh, for Wellness Wednesday. And uh, we'll go from there. If you have any suggestions, what kind, of, what kind of workouts can I bring to you? Please don't hesitate to, to tell me. Raise your hand, type it up, and oh, hi, my darling. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You're so sweet. Um, uh, all the love to my lifetime uh, group uh, of coaches. They are just so amazing. Thank you so much. It really, really was a pleasure and an honor to, to work with you guys. It, Thank you so much. I love you guys. All right, so we'll see you tomorrow. All my love and blessings. And uh, I hope you enjoy Tennis Tuesday. And we will have a Wellness Wednesday tomorrow. See you then, okay? Bye-bye.